With her loader on its way to Kavik, Sue attempted to meet the convoy to guide them to camp safely, but dangerous conditions forced her to return home, and checking on the status and safety of the delivery crew is a priority. Heck of cold, I mean, coming in, we dropped in temperature severely. In the end, I mean, I feel bad that I didn't get out there, but uh, I'm not gonna be much help to anybody if I can't keep myself safe. Holy crap. You don't really wanna rub your hands together, but I'm cold. I personally haven't frozen my fingers that hard, I don't think, ever. I better go call Jim. Hey, buddy, how you doing? I'm doing good, yourself? Oh, man, you know, I went out there and tried to meet up with the convoy, and it's so damn foggy, I don't even have 200 yards of visibility. And, uh... Yeah, so I went four or five miles, and I'm like, man, I'm gonna, I'm gonna get uh, frostbite, and that won't help anybody hey, out. Well, I just talked to them. Okay. And I figure they're between three and five miles away from me. All right, buddy, well, I'll keep an eye out for them, and I'll just send you an email then when they get in, just so you know. All right, thank you, sweetie. All righty, talk to you later. <laughs> oh, shoot. The cat train and myself were probably right next to each other, and he says they're three to five miles out. That's exactly where I was. Visibility so poor, we couldn't see each other. So, uh, but even at that distance away, they may shut her down and get some rest. Um, safety, safety, safety. They've got their little travel trailer. They can handle that. I'll be here whenever. It's just hurry up and wait.